You hear about this, a staple in TV news, remember today. Friends, family, and the community came together for the funeral of Amanda Davis. She was a broadcast journalist down in Atlanta for more than 30 years. She was also candid about her drinking problems in 2016. She did a three-part series on the subject. Amanda died suddenly at the airport recently while traveling to her stepfather's funeral. I was struck by Amanda's death and how she died from a sudden stroke. A stroke. The CDC says African-American women are more likely to have a stroke than any other group of women in the U.S. Why is the risk greater for black women? Joining me to discuss this, Dr. Kathleen Berger, Associate Professor of Neurology at the George Washington University School of Medicine and the Neurologist and Director of the Stroke Center at the GW Hospital. Doctor, thanks for, for joining us. So tell us, why, why black women? Why are they at higher risk? Well, first of all, it is traditionally thought that men have more strokes than women, but these days more data is coming out showing that women are having more strokes than men and African Americans are having more strokes than whites. And thus, that puts African American women at greater risk. Yeah. What is it about African American women? Women traditionally are thought to live longer and thus have more strokes. However, African Americans are thought to have a higher prevalence of risk factors that lead to stroke later on. So African Americans are more prone to having high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol, and many other things that ultimately make them higher risk for stroke and heart attack. Yeah, uh, heart attack, I know about that. Over 20 years ago, I had a heart attack. So lifestyle changes, that can help. Yes. That can make a difference, right? Yes, anybody can reduce their risk of stroke, starting with seeing your primary doctor on a regular basis um, so that you can obtain treatment for high blood pressure, for diabetes and lowering your sugar. Um, receive traditional information about diet improvement and losing weight. And even before you do that, you can also look on the American Heart and Stroke Association website and see that there are many easy ways to improve your diet and improve your activity and reduce your sugar and salt intake. For people who don't know, what's the difference between a heart attack and a stroke? A heart attack is when a blood vessel in your heart is suddenly blocked and that decreases blood flow to the heart and thus reduces blood flow to the entire body. A stroke is when a blood vessel in the brain is suddenly clotted and a part of the brain suddenly dies. And that area of the brain over minutes and hours, uh, a greater area of the brain will die if you do not seek treatment yeah, right un away. Yeah, underscore that word suddenly, okay? Because the, the, mm -hmm. this woman apparently was in pretty good health. I mean, yes. I think she was 60, 62 years old. Mm -hmm. She looked like, you know, she was in very good health. So it's, it's not just what you look like, it, it's an inside job. So when you go to the doctor and get these physicals, get a total physical. Right? Absolutely, yes. You can't look at somebody on the outside and think they're at risk for stroke. Right. It can actually happen to anyone. How, how big an issue is, is uh, weight? Uh, a lot of people, women especially, yeah, I said it, don't want to talk about it. Weight, how big a deal is that? Obesity is a risk factor for stroke, and you don't have to be obese. You can just be overweight. Any unhealthy lifestyle um, yeah. fact can increase your risk of stroke. All right, and, and don't rely on New Year's resolutions. You can make a daily resolution, okay? Let's go to the topic. Thanks, doctor.